Hello everybody! Welcome to On the Bright Side. My name is Daniel, and I'm watching Hell of a Boss. Yes, that's right. Uh, I'm starting here on Season 2, Episode 6, because that is where I've seen up until. I, I recently finished Has Been Hotel, uh, where I said that I had seen Hell of a Boss, but I have not actually seen all of it, so I'm catching up. And yeah, with more of Season 2 coming out soon, this is a pretty good time. Last time on Hell of a Boss. That's kind of complicated because the last episode that came out was the added on episode at the end of season one that that introduced Beelzebub and it had Luna. That was a good episode. But technically, the last episode released in, in chronological order was, I think, the episode where they went to the summer camp and Millie and Moxie cross-dress and there was a subplot about taking Luna to the vet and that subplot ended up being my favorite part of that episode because I didn't like that episode that much from what I remember. I've heard nothing but good things about the next two episodes so I'm very excited. If you guys are excited for me to continue Hell of a Boss then you should subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss the next Hell of a Boss reaction. There won't be too many more, but I'll be on it whenever they come out from the point I catch up. Let's begin episode six. Oops. In three, two, one, go. Held up one for a while. Oh yeah, uh, also, since this is a YouTube video, I kind of do different things where I, uh, hello. Is that a boner clock? Thirsty boy. Okay. This is the clown from the circus that Blitzo used to be at? Ozzy. Oh, okay. I was trying to say, since this is a... This is a YouTube video, I'm gonna react to the whole thing unedited because there's kind of different rules. You gotta host a safety meeting because of what happened with the old shipment of vibrators. And then Okay, I'm guessing we're in the lust ring of hell. Well, you're pretty good at squeezing things in. But I left time for a big old breakfast. Let me guess. I'm handling that too. I mean Unless you want me to take a I like this design <laughs> with the <laughs> no faces in the hair. What? <laughs> Maybe I could burn the milk this time. Stop. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm craving? Burgers. No, it's too early for burgers, you maniac. Burger time. Burger time. Burger, burger time. time. Burger time. <laughs> are, are you telling me eight in the morning is too early for burgers? What was that? I want to go back and look. I gotta go back and look. King of Oz. Hypocrite. I gotta also <laughs> read all these other things. Lust ring news. We have the horny. Yeah, it is the... Yep. Breast implants. Wacky, waving, inflatable, flailing tube dicks. <laughs> uh, this is way too much fun stuff for a throwaway. So... <laughs> Does that mean that this is, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Asmodeus? I more while I'm out today. Osmodeus? You're still going to that contest rehearsal without me? Well, you have a packed day today, and I know you aren't big on the whole mammon thing, so... It's the Greed Ring. One of the cities is literally called Ransom. Ah, don't worry too much. You know I ain't oh, afraid of ropes. Sides. We're getting to see more of more of hell. That's fun. What? Come on, lads. I can be on my own one day. But you haven't been to the greed ring alone since becoming Mam's big brand figure. Yeah, I guess, but it's not like I'm gonna stick around. I can get you an escort. Ah, uh, I can handle it. Come on, big daddy. Please. <laughs> well, you know I can't say no <laughs> to a face that cute. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's why I use it. Just try to stay out of trouble, Fizzy Frog. Ah, stop it! No. <laughs> Oz, I have the new shipment of... You mind? 
trying to have an unemotional bang sesh here. Because <laughs> we're so not Kay. in love. Yeah, love is stupid. So you're not supposed to be in love in the lust ring? That was close, huh? <sighs> Just come right back when it's over. This is and keep your phone. So this is like right a Lord of Hell right that's in love with like Don't worry, Oz. a clown I'll be super imp. Low key. Nobody will notice me. Might not be the clown I was thinking of, but Blitzo was one of them at some point. Okay. Dick confetti. No, it's choking on the dick confetti. It is actually sperm shaped. I hate that. I hate that a lot. And it's gone. <laughs> Frizz. He's got Heelys. Nerd. Yeah, well, you're sure drawing a lot of attention to yourself. Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, okay. Oh wow, looky who it is. Oh fuck. You again. Stalking me now, huh? Oh, don't fucking flatter okay. yourself, clown. So is this same life, clown. I about you in it. Uh-huh. Sure. Please. It's been a while since that. Oh, is silent now, bitch. And she oh, yeah, I forgot about that too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Twice in the last 15 years. That would make me the shittiest stalker in history. Twice <laughs> is already way too much. Yeah, well, at least I'm still actually working for my shit and not getting everything handed to me like some pampered attention whore. Ooh. That one cut. Because it's true. Yeah, well, guess that's what resilience and talent gets you. <laughs> Plus, my horns were always bigger than yours, weren't they? Does that mean something? <laughs> it's coming! Yeah. <laughs> These poor dogs. So, you say you're good? Because we really need a big score right now. The best. At a oh, yeah, this is happening. Just last week. Sure, but not dead. It was cold off, but I have a body count in the hundreds. I ain't afraid to go after anyone. Women, kids, and cute little face puppy looking things. Don't matter. Huh. I'll tell you what. If you can deliver something of value, I'll consider it. One moment. Oh boy. <laughs> Got one. Again, Blitzy. And with a famous friend. Ah, fuck me. For the record, we are not friends. All right then. Larger, you can never be too large. <laughs> you can never be too large. <laughs> the dildo factory. Let me hit the spot. Right there. That's good. I like I like that. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just stussy in there. It's going nuclear! <laughs> Alright. Hi, Stolas. Hey there, birdie babe. Haven't seen you since you crashed my club. How you been? <laughs> Still getting your kink on with that feisty imp? Uh, uh, well, um, that's actually what I'm here about. You see, you can relate on that. I seem to have found myself with feelings for him, and I'm not sure if it's a mutual thing. Well, I can tell you, if you're looking for a love potion, you came to the wrong fucking guy. I don't fuck with that artificial <laughs> bullshit. Lust shouldn't be about force. It's an art to be earned and Fair. enjoyed. It's all about that journey to pleasure time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, never, never that. I, I'll never <laughs> fail you, don't worry. This inn has a business he runs. Mm. He needs to access the mortal realm to carry out his work. I know your demons are some of the only ones who can traverse freely and legally. I was wondering if you could assist me in finding a way he could too. Oh. Hmm. Stolas, my heart bleeds for you, but my partner, uh, business 
partner, Fizzarelli, uh -huh. hates your imp guy. Uh -huh. Also, right? Yeah. Hates. He does? But why? Not my story to tell, but trust me, I would help if I could, but I can't. Sorry. Can't betray your boyfriend. Oh boy. What is happening here? Hello, Osmodius. You don't know me. There's a hostage you situation. All you need to know is I have your little jest you. Are you really you threatening a lord of hell? You will give me exactly what I want. Do you have any idea? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think it's recording. You probably Dang. just asked if I know who I'm dealing with. <laughs> and oh yes. I know. All right. The weakest and most non-threatening of the sins. The king who will do whatever it takes to save the worst kept secret in all of hell. We both know you won't risk anything happening to the clown. So be a good little bitch boy and do the thing. My lawyers will be over shortly with the contract of the man. You have until the witching hour to sign it. The witching hour. <laughs> now cut. When is that exactly? I said cut it, you Okay. Oh boy. Oh man. Could, could hear that one all the way through the rings. Oh, chill out, Jester. Christ on a stick. It's like you've never been before. <laughs> sure, but not by a bunch of psychos and a piece of shit. Am I. Okay. Am I the psycho or the piece of shit? Oh, yeah, that checks. How is this happening? I mean, it's, I it's just like true. Grab some gas station milk and rehearse some juggling. Oh, relax. I'm sure your big <laughs> boiled chicken ain't gonna let anything happen to his peppy little fuck doll. Oh, playing that card, huh? Okay. What about you? Seems your tastes have gotten more regal lately. <laughs> yeah, well, unlike you, I fuck who I want when I want. I'm not gonna be tied down to some big blue blood asshole. You could have fooled me the way Princey was cozying up to you at Ozzy's. Hey, mm. Stolitz only cares about having a rugged peasant raw dog him into his mattress. It's nothing, you know... D it's no, it's... No, it's... There? it's. Oh, there's a lot of emotions. Reasons, of course. Whatever, I don't actually care. I mean, Stolas is just a loud, thirsty bitch who loves feeling the thrill of getting dicked by the lower class. It's a novel. Is that what you're telling yourself? I literally just said I don't care. And then <laughs> call me and try and see how my day was, and he'll pretend to care about me and comment on my photos and laugh at my jokes. It sounds like uh, he that's cares. Your clue right there that it's all bullshit. I know, right? He's just Who would laugh at your jokes? Asshole. Sounds like you just hate him for being a prince because no one, and I mean no one, pretends to care that much just for a cheap lay. Point is, royal demons don't give a shit about guys like us. They're all the fuck. Can say. That's not always true. But I guess you're right. They can't all I, be the I same. I mean, I think... Some have taste, and some want to fuck you. <laughs> can we talk about something other than my sex life? Satan's taint. Does fucking that lust guy make this what you're all about now? You brought it up, asshole! You do something <laughs> already! Pick her like a couple of teen skanks. As far as I'm all, concerned, it's just all about two fucking both embarrassments to our kind are meddling with blue bloods to begin with. But at least Loudmouth here has the sense to only fuck his rich bitch instead of being a little purse dog. Oh, great. The fucking supremacist is on my side. Why? <laughs> Neither of you filth bags know what you're even talking about. If you think you're superior to anyone, <laughs> the supremacist is no on my side. Great. Don't you dare finish that sentence, clown. Hey! Hit for hire. I said watch them, not fuck them. Keep your hands off the merchandise. Ah, ever heard of mouthwash? <laughs> face. Uh, well, then. <laughs> can I just sign it already? Like, can we move this along? Sire, you need to know the contents <laughs> of this contract. You can't just sign it. A deal made with a sin like yourself would be everlastingly binding. Yeah. Perhaps I can look it over. I'm a fast reader. This contract oh. fucking sucks. This is a contract giving Crimson all of Ozzy's factory assets and giving him permission to use Fizzeroli's head for a wall decoration. Wait, what? Just making sure <laughs> you're paying attention. <laughs> uh huh. Here's the real contract. Oh, this will be fun. I love words. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're really bad at Stole I love words. <laughs> you know, I love him time I checked, so much. I was a 
fucking jester, not an escape artist. Oh god. You short circuit? I just go home. Hmm. You want me to get you out? Yes. He's escaped some situations before. You had a knife this whole time. <laughs> now stop bitching while I work this. Yeah. It's gonna be tricky, but so we've been in some sticky situations before. I mean, I could stretch down there. No. I have a better idea. Okay. 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 What is this Rube Goldberg machine gonna end up with? <laughs> Dead? <laughs> the popcorn. Oh man. Yeah. Well, that didn't. <laughs> that was incredible. My God. <laughs> oh boy. No oh boy. Chris is not a fighter, so... <laughs> yeah, the clown tricks aren't working. Wait, hold on! Is people liked me better. You wanted me gone because you were jealous. Is that what the why is part robot? Oh boy, yeah, let's 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 get into the trauma. Right right now, in the middle of the action scene. Going on, I was trying to get help, Fizz. I just. It was still my fault. Glad you can admit it. Want a medal? Look, I'm sorry, Fizz. I am so sorry that you got so hurt. I'm sorry for what you lost. And I, on the I know birthday? I never make that right. But you have no idea what I lost in that fire. I mean, Family. it's all my fault. I'd hate me too. I mean, I. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. So why didn't you try to tell I'm very me real. Or come see me. Even once would have been fine. I tried. You were all I had left, Fizz. But they told me you didn't want to see me. I never told them that. Bullshit. You didn't. No. And no one told me you came. All, oh. all the truth is coming out. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so okay. you two hate each other for, draft allows for some reasons that you shouldn't hate each other. Located in the green that, that's that's tough. Allocated funds going to your client for the foreseeable future while ensuring the safe return of one Fizzerali. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Now, let me just reread this. Hurry up! Yelling won't make me read faster. <laughs> You're about to die. No, it's hard to just forgive you. I mean, they're already <laughs> breaking out, so, so much time, might as well kill them. Well, you're telling me getting blown up didn't ruin your life? It was painful and challenging and, you know, fuck you still, but... <laughs> but you're in a pretty good place now. And I now have someone who understands me and... Pointing him. Lovely, you got a good thing going on with that horny rooster fucker, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's been... Fantastic. Because, uh, you know, it's a great gig. Right? <laughs> the, and he's got the mm -hmm. biggest cock, you know, like massive. I mean, imagine, what? Like, I mean it makes sense if he is a cock. Like a kaiju, but it's a cock, you know what I mean? Like a 
big monster. It's big. I get it. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I'm happy for you, Fizz. <laughs> I'm like, can we move on from the monster cock? I get. <laughs> if you want to prove yourself, cowboy, here's your chance. <laughs> You've been a pain in my ass long enough, Blitz. Yep. Now, I mean, you're all, we always seem to lose us somehow. Oh, don't you dare talk sexy to me. You're still on the horse thing? <laughs> Fizz, remember how you used to distract my dad so I could steal his booze? I mean, yeah, why? Yeah, well, I need to get up to that window there to bust us out. Oh, one distraction coming up. Oh boy, performing time. I was a young boy. I never thought it'd come to this. The scars all seem to heal. And soon all I feel is regret. And now I'm a grown man. I've lost it all again. But what I'll miss This distraction is somehow most. working. Pay close attention while you get <laughs> a look at this. Yeah, look at this. Oh boy. <laughs> oh look at this song. Here's a hat. This nonsense mostly doesn't mean a thing. But listen closely, maybe it explains everything. <laughs> a secret to Bitcoin, computers and microchips. That was a real man. Oh boy. <laughs> Just, yeah, I got that. I was literally gonna call it gibberish. Alright. Please tell me I can buy this song on iTunes. Limoncello Forte Piano Buongiorno gibberish Italian. <laughs> This is all the Italian that the writers knew. Uh-oh. 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 There we go. I can't believe that worked. I, like, can't believe that worked. Someone say I can't believe that worked. actually pretty good at this action hero bullshit. And you really know how to put on a show, which is almost as impressive as the thing you said I was good at. I guess royal jesters first? Uh oh. Uh oh. The lasso. Fucking shit stained claws off him. <laughs> you think I'm just gonna let you get away after all this? I'm through losing these fights. This hey, why, can, can we kill him then? <laughs> of his overbloated master. I'll at least enjoy getting rid of him. Okay. Is it bad that I'm getting hard? <laughs> why is it always a sex thing? Because. The horny knows no bounds. Uh, well, I'm sure he'll be back. We have a chance to make things right. Oh, man. The circus skills. I did. 
Yes. But this time I stuck around. Yeah. Wow. Difference is reconciled. Beautiful. Would it fuck up the moment if we made out right now? Yes, but... That's it. I'm going to fuck Someone probably drew it. Can I have a link? <laughs> Fizzy! <laughs> Everything worked out. Thank God. Now can we kill this guy? Mm, get fucked, little one. <laughs> Live, laugh, law. He's so sweaty. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're okay, babe. You ain't never leaving the palace without protection again. <laughs> Oz, you know there's eyes around. I know. Who cares? Because care. they know if they tell anyone, I'll. I hate this founding. <laughs> well, don't worry. Today I learned that I hate going outside. <laughs> you won't have Yo, to. Yo, same. I'm sorry, I got a little messy. You don't need to apologize. Going outside is overrated. Up, babe. I'm just sorry I couldn't be there. It's okay, Oz. They just seem like they have a good relationship. Kind of thing. <sighs> it's been an intense day. Just take it easy, okay? Oh, it's fine. I'm fine, really. You know I bounce back fast. <laughs> oh. So, besides my whole scary hostage thing, how was your day? Well, I read contracts. I was stuck with Stolas the whole time. Who, <laughs> by the way, asked me to give him one of my crystals as a gift for that guy you hate. So, uh, I don't, don't hate him? anymore. No. Mm hmm. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. Let him have it. Excuse me? Yeah. Why not? You could <laughs> say he earned it. All right, then. Anything for you. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but having a violent brush with crime has given me a whole that's, mess. That's what I was expecting kids. to happen. You want to go make a mess? You really think that's a good idea right now, Fizz? Sure, don't you? Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, all the time. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. I'm, l I'm looking at the voice actors. Asmodeus. A very sexy voice. It checked out <laughs> with the Prince of Lust. All right. So that was Hell of a Boss, Episode 6. That was a hell of an episode. I've been waiting to say that one to this show. <laughs> I say that at the end of a lot of my show, my shows. But that one, that was a good episode. I, I think if I were to say whether I like Hell of a Boss or Has Been Hotel more, that's a really hard question. Like, they're very different shows, first of all. Hasman Hotel is very story-driven, uh, where, whereas Hell of a Boss doesn't really have a, that much of a episode-to-episode -episode story. It's more slice-of-life-y. I would say it has more frequent, like, low points than Hasman Hotel, but I also... There are just also some episodes that are, like, real high points. This one was one of the uh, better episodes... Um, I love an episode that can have have it all, you know, the action, the the comedy, and the actual character moments, because that's the other place where this show really shines, is in uh, basically just every character has a lot of trauma that they have to work out. And Blitz has been, like, one of the characters that hasn't really worked out too much, but, it, I mean, a lot of his story has been about his relationship with Stolas and you know, coming to terms with that. I always wondered since the episode that they revealed that he was an imp in the circus, um, 
what happened. You know, why was he, like, you know, hated and stuff. And now we've got the answers to that. And it's really rough because it was truly an accident um, that led to losing his family, Fizz getting turned into a cyborg, essentially. <laughs> Which I've always felt, I, I felt was like, why is this one a robot? Uh, now we know. Real good episode. We also got introduced to more around the the lust ring of hell. It's coming from Hasbin Hotel, which all takes place in one ring of hell. I believe it's the pride ring, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. That would make sense because Lucifer is all about pride, right? Yeah. Uh, I I'm the princess of hell is like a it's like a a thing that I really like to to think about. I've thought of some stories using them in, uh, on my own that I haven't really done anything with, but it's been a while. So from what I remember, like, Lucifer's pride, Asmodeus' is lust, uh, Satan is wrath. And then I don't know so much. Beelzebub, from their episode that they featured in, would make sense. Gluttony, right? <laughs> but then there's the other sins that I don't so much remember. Anyway, we got to see another one of those Princes of Hell, which <laughs> makes it so that we've seen more in this show than in Has Been Hotel with uh, Beelzebub and Asmodeus. M and am I forgetting one? Yeah, let's go through some of the parts of this episode and, and, and talk about them. Okay, so one of the underlying conflicts here was the fact that Fizzaroli and Asmodeus are in love with each other. Which is not allowed in the lust ring. Because lust is not about love. There is a difference. Some people may disagree with that. Some people may be like, oh, you, you can only feel lust for people you're in love with. I am of the perspective that uh, I think they're two different things. If you've been in a relationship, you can understand that like, yeah, well, the person you're in the relationship is the only person that you like want to be with um, because you love them. You know, you'll see hot people, and they don't, like, become not hot just because you're in a relationship, you know? That's an interesting thing, though, that it's, like, just forbidden. Uh, and it's real ironic that the figurehead, the the leader of Lust, is in love and, and with an imp, too. Many, many scandals. But it seems like everyone knows, but like, who's gonna do anything? This man owns so many factories, you're not getting your fucking dildos if this guy gets torn down from power, right? And we need those dildos. We need them. There, there was this scene where Stolas came to talk to Asmodeus about getting some, uh, I, I, cause I, I guess, uh, the denizens of the Last Ring can travel m more freely than others. Did they explain the reason for that? Did I just forget? Just because everyone needs that sweet poon? When's the last time you heard someone call it poon? Yeah, one of the, like, long-running conflicts of this show that is, like, I I'm kind of like, we're still on this? Is, uh, Stolas is like, I need my book. I need my book that allows me to traverse the realms um so he's trying to figure out a solution so that blitz and his company can do it without without anyone else speaking of which this feels like the first episode in a while that we just didn't get like anyone else from the main cast moxie millie luna they're all gone they're dead <laughs> i also am just looking in the fire back there and there's there's a heart in the fire we did however have moxie's dad being a dick working with striker now great um although striker got his ass handed to him again i'm worried about what's gonna happen when he comes back because i feel like next time it's not gonna be about getting paid it's gonna be about getting even and i'm like uh oh i i love that trope of of characters that just keep coming back and they just get m need revenge more and more every time. 
there's a certain point when I get a little bit worried that we're some good m mini bad guys for the episode. <laughs> they fucking cooked on this on this scene with the animation. <laughs> we're talking about the backstory between Blitz and Fizz. This <laughs> this is very this is very dark. All just just you know melted all of his limbs off. That's awesome. <laughs> Blitz talked about how he was he he. Like, immediately after this, he's all like, I did care, and I tried to help you. And it's, like, clearly something that has, like, haunted him for his entire life. Touching on some deep trauma. It, it's interesting, though, that, like, the fact that they just, like, parted ways and never talked to each other. I mean, they wanted to talk to each other. Clearly, they were kept apart by other people. Um, that's sad. Uh, but I'm really glad that they got to like work out their feelings and have some closure on this situation that that is a very good part of this episode yeah look, look at them hugging very wholesome this episode just like was really well rounded and i liked it quite a bit i'm racking my brain for anything else that i could say i liked all the the new characters introduced um it's cool getting to see the lust ring i'm glad that this happened yeah i i hope that you enjoyed my reaction to this episode. If you did, you can let me know by leaving a like. And you can comment. Tell me what you thought about my reaction. What uh, were, were your thoughts about this episode? Do you have anything to add to my discussion? And you can subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single hell of a boss reaction in the future. I almost forgot the name. Ugh. I almost called it Code Geass. I really did. Excited for the next episode. Should be coming out shortly. That being said, I hope that I can make your day better, and I hope that you continue to have good days. Till next time, take it easy, everyone. Mm -hmm.